shoot all of the slow motion footage you see on this channel with 60 frames per second. Now here's the catch. My camera only allows me to shoot in 60 frames per second in 720p resolution. In this video, I'll be showing you guys some tips on how to edit and shoot low resolution footage. Now when I say low resolution, I'm talking about 720p because any resolution under 720p is really really bad already, especially for 2020. For starters, this is a weird subject to talk about, especially because it's 2020 and we have all these other resolutions from 1080, 4K, 6K, and 720 is just out of that list. Even YouTube themselves don't consider 720p as high definition anymore. Go check it out. There's no HD on the 720 anymore. Personally, I'm still pretty contented with 720p as it's the only option in my camera to shoot 60 frames per second. Anyways, all of that aside, the first tip that I have for you guys is to mind the gap. Take note of the distance between you and your subject. The closer you are to your subject, the better the final image is going to be. The reason is because if you're closer, your details in your subject will become more pronounced. Whereas if you have a wide shot or if you're farther from your subject, there won't be enough resolution or pixels to get those finer, smaller details. Basically, to sum it all up, get closer to your subject. If you can't get closer to your subject, then you should zoom in or use a tighter focal length. But if you need to be farther or need to use a wide angle lens, just be careful because pixelation can become more pronounced in your final image. In relation to our first tip, our second tip is all about contrast. One way that you can use contrast to your advantage is to shoot at a wide aperture or a narrow depth of field. Shooting with a narrow depth of field really does help in covering up those imperfections that you get in shooting low resolution footage. How this works is a little bit hard to explain, but just try it out for yourself and see the difference that this makes. The next tip that I want to give you guys is to try your best to reduce noise in your image. The number one leading factor in getting noisy footage is shooting in the high ISO sensitivity. Now every camera handles ISO differently, so my recommendation is to test out your settings before shooting so that you can get the best performance. Now for my setup, the 60D, I usually don't go over 800 ISO because anything above that is just too noisy for me. So anything with the 100 to 800 works and if it's too bad, I just scrap it. Now another way that you can make your footage noisy and weird is adding in camera sharpness. Now do yourself a favor, go to your camera settings and remove that in-camera sharpness. Turn the levels all the way down to zero because you can always add sharpness later in the edit. And if your camera adds sharpness, that's something that you can't really get back later if you don't like it in post. Now that you guys know how to shoot low resolution footage, I'm gonna show you guys how you can edit low resolution footage. When you're editing your footage, make sure you don't zoom the footage in too much because 720p, it's gonna look bad when you zoom it in. So as much as you love that fake camera movement that you love to add in post, don't go overboard with it because it can look bad. Another thing to keep in mind while editing is to be careful when stabilizing your footage because most of the time, when you stabilize your footage, the video editing software will put a crop on your footage to cover up your video's edges after it has tracked your footage. That's all for today's video. I hope this video was helpful for you guys who don't have the ability to shoot higher resolutions or have a decent setup. And if you guys did find this video helpful, leave a like and let me know in the comments down below what you think. And if you guys are new, consider subscribing. I upload every other week on Sunday or Monday. And until then, keep safe, keep healthy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.